24 of section 3.5, we have a situation in which two particles leave the origin at the same time and travel along the x-axis. And their distance functions are given by these two quadratics here. Now, we're asked to show that as time approaches infinity, uh, we want to show that the ratio of the distance, uh, the distance that travels with these two particles, so the ratio d1 over d2, is equal to the ratio of the acceleration. So it's equal to the acceleration of particle one over the acceleration of particle two. So what we're really asked to find is the limit as t, which is time, approaches infinity, of d1 of t. over d2 of t. Now we could just as well find the limit um, of d2 of t over d1, but then we would just have to adjust for the acceleration, find the um, ratio of acceleration, or the ratio of the acceleration of the second particle over the acceleration of the first particle. So first notice that as time approaches infinity, that both these distance functions are going to kind of blow up the um, they can get, you know, arbitrarily large. So we have an indeterminate um, form. So if we substitute in infinity, essentially, or we look at the limit as, evaluate each uh, term as the limit goes to infinity, then we end up with infinity over infinity. So we first apply L'Hopital's rule. And in the numerator we have 6t plus 2 over uh, 14t plus 3. And if we, again, try to evaluate this as t goes to infinity, we see that we end up with yet another indeterminate form, of infinity over infinity. So we apply L'Hopital's rule a second time. And this reduces to finding the limit as t approaches infinity of just 6 over 14, which, of course, is a constant. And we can simplify this to 3 over 7. Now, if we want to find the ratio of acceleration of particle 1 over the ratio of the acceleration of particle 2, uh, we first notice that, well, we kind of already found those because we were given the distance. Uh, function of the first particle in the numerator, we took its derivative, and we took its derivative a second time. Well, the second derivative of the position function is acceleration, and similarly with the denominator. So we say that the acceleration is, the ratio of the accelerations is indeed 3 sevenths. So the limits do agree.